Hello guys, Zanja here and welcome back to a new video in which I am going to review the OnePlus 3T after using this device as my primary device for more than a month. I do not have to say that this is the best device that you can buy under the budget of 30 or 35,000 rupees. It is. If you have the budget of 30,000 rupees, go ahead and buy the OnePlus 3T. You will not regret buying this particular device at 30,000 for 64 GB variant. But if you want to buy the 128 GB variant with the Midnight Black Edition that I have over here, which looks very good, then it will cost you around 35,000 rupees. I'll leave a link to all these variants in the description box below. So if you want to buy any of these, don't forget to use those links. It will surely help out the channel. And as I said, we all know that this is a very good device. Then there is a twist in this particular review. I did not use the Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 3T, but I flashed the Sultan XTS Lineage OS 14.1 ROM, which is based on Android 7.1.2 as of shooting this particular video. When Pixel devices were launched, people were sad because of the pricing. Nexus devices always had a very competitive pricing and that was the plus point or USP of those devices. And the Pixel is surely not the new Nexus, but I can surely say that OnePlus 3T or all the OnePlus devices are surely the new Nexuses that we can have and we can buy in the market which will fit our pocket and which will not make any type of hole in our pockets like Pixel. But let's leave that aside and let's talk about the two positives which were present with the Nexus devices. Quicker software updates and a very good ROM community. Quicker software updates are present on the OnePlus 3 to 2 because it is already running Android version 7.0 or 7.1.1 with the Oxygen OS beta ROM or even the stable version. I'm using the Lineage OS ROM so it is having 7.1.2. And when it comes to ROM community, OnePlus 1, OnePlus 2, OnePlus 3, 3T and even the OnePlus 6 have excellent ROM community with extremely good developers. The ROM which I'm using on this particular device has no type of bugs. You will come to know about that in the software department. So I don't think so that if you install a ROM on OnePlus 3 or 3T, the ROM may not be equally stable as that of Oxygen OS, but it is very close to that. And thanks to OnePlus for releasing all the source codes plus all the blobs which are required to make any ROM awesome. So OnePlus 3T has already won in my list but let's talk about the display on this device which is 5.5 inch 1080p AMOLED panel which has no issues whatsoever, deep blacks, very good saturation, color reproduction is to the point and at 35,000 rupees except Samsung C7 Pro which also has AMOLED screen. I do not think so that any other device can beat the display on the OnePlus 3T. Even though the bottom firing speaker is not changed from the OnePlus 3 to OnePlus 3T, it is loud and clear, no issues with the speaker. But I will always prefer a speaker which is present on the top which is not going to happen on the OnePlus 3T or even on the OnePlus 5 according to the leaks which are out there. Snapdragon 821 processor with 6GB of RAM has no issues running Oxygen OS. Everything is super fast, like literally super fast. There is no other device other than Pixel which performs as good as this one in this price range at least. 30,000 may you will get Samsung devices which are a sort of okay -ish. They may lag after six months or one year, who knows. But when it comes to stock like Oxygen OS on the 3T, it is not going to lag. And I was using the Lineage OS ROM on the OnePlus 3T for more than a month. And on this Lineage OS ROM, there was not even a single issue with performance. I felt as if I'm using Oxygen OS when it comes to performance. And even after a single month, the performance did not decrease even a single bit. Thanks to the ROM developer who is Sultan XDA, who is one of the biggest developers on XDA who has created kernel for this device by himself and it's an unofficial ROM and not the official ROM. I'll give a link of this ROM in the description box below so do not forget to check it out if you have the OnePlus 3T with you. Two very good features on the Oxygen OS of the OnePlus 3T is very fast fingerprint sensor which is present on the Linear OS ROM too so no issues with fingerprint sensor and the second thing is dash charging. If you are worried whether dash charging will work on this device or not, yes dash charging works super fine, no issues whatsoever. It takes around one hour or a little bit more than that to charge the device completely from 0 to 10% to 100%. And when it comes to battery life, you can expect around 4 hours to 5 hours of screen on time. The device did not touch 5 hours of screen on time when I used the device like throughout the day, but it surely crossed 4 hours and as you can see, there are a lot of stats which are available for the battery because I was using this device for such a long time. Oh my god. Whenever I do ROM video for any device, I always say that do not expect the camera performance to be as good as the stock ROM. But when it comes to the Lineage OS ROM made by Sultan XD developer for the OnePlus 3D, I'll have to differ. Because the camera performance on this ROM is as good as the camera performance on Oxygen OS. Yeah, I know that many of you will say that, okay, the low light performance is not equal and things like that. And if you are rating 100 out of 100 to the performance of Oxygen OS camera, then I'll rate it 95 to 100 
when it comes to the same image clicked at the same particular time. I do not have two OnePlus 3 days to test this out, but surely you will not regret, I'm saying this once again, you will not regret the camera performance on this ROM and as you can see the sample shots are good. 4K videos, 1080p videos, all the videos came out to be nice with no issues whatsoever. You also have an option of HDR videos which worked out something like this. So if you use a lot of camera on the OnePlus 3T then this ROM is very good for you. You will not regret installing this ROM on that particular device. Geo's network with VOLT, then all the sensors such as gyroscope and everything like that works. We covered almost everything of the OnePlus 3T but we forgot to cover the build quality of this device. Metallic back panel with a camera bump which I do not really want on the OnePlus 5 but according to the leaks it seems that OnePlus 5 is also going to have a camera bump but that's completely okay. Volume button and power button is very tactile. Build quality gets 9.5 or even 10 out of 10 from me when it comes to oh let's go with 9.5 or 9 because the device is a little bit slippery but they do provide you a cover with this particular device yes i do have it over here so i used the device with the cover because it was provided in the box and uh, it's a very nice cover like if you want extra protection you can buy other covers some of the links are in the description box below but this cover will satisfy all your needs too so you don't have to worry about buying an extra cover now let's talk about the most important thing should you buy the one plus as I said in the beginning only that you should buy this device if your budget allows you to. So go ahead and buy this device if you want to. Now let's talk about the conclusion of this ROM on this particular device. Did I regret installing this ROM on this particular device? Frankly speaking, yes, I did regret it around after 10 or 15 days of installing this ROM because I went to an event and I wanted to click a selfie, but the camera was not letting me take a selfie it was crashing immediately or it was not taking selfies at all a quick reboot fixed it but then developer released a new version of the rom in which the issue of the front facing camera was gone so like it's working super fine now dash charging works everything works so i do not think so that i regret installing this rom on this device surely you will not find extra features on the linear os rom as compared to oxygen os rom but if i'm going to call this device as the next generation of nexus devices then surely I had to test out a ROM on this device to verify that and I can surely say that OnePlus devices are going to be the next Nexus devices which are easy to unlock, easy to flash custom ROMs on, easy to unbreak and stuff like that. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want me to do more device reviews by installing a custom ROM on them such as Redmi Note 4 or Redmi Note 3 or uh, Moto G5 Plus. Moto G5 Plus doesn't have a very good ROM community yet, but Xiaomi devices do have that. So if you want me to do that, then let me know about that in the comment section box below. I would love to do that. If you are new here and watching the OnePlus 3T review, then don't forget to click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these do come on the channel on a regular basis. And I did one video, what's on my phone with the OnePlus 3T. Link for that is present in the I button over here. So just click over here and watch that. So yeah, thank you guys, thank you for watching.